Oh my god, oh, I love this chicken. <laughs> George. Guys, the shirts are here. Oh my god. This is like crazy. So I'm collabing with Print Social and if you guys don't know about it, they are super ethical and sustainable. So it's like however many shirts you guys order they will print it so there's like no materials left over and all that i have all three designs with me here right now and i'm going to put them on and show you guys these shirts are all unisex so it's kind of like a men's size um this is in small actually i'm like 5'9 and you can see the fit. I think it might shrink in the dryer because it's 100% organic cotton. They recommend washing it in cold water and just hanging it to dry. I might just like cut it and crop it a little bit just so we get like the fit better. The ink is directly printed onto fabric so it has like a really nice and natural feel not like a sticker kind of tacky feel to it which i love for the final design we have my signature print oh my god wait <laughs> this is the print from it's a rizzo print that i got from leon when when i went to visit my friend in france and they were selling my prints in the store there which is awesome but yeah I also got a size in medium. Um, I'm just going to try it on to show you guys how it fits on my body. As you can see, it's a lot bigger and it's like at the end of my butt. Um, but I feel like it would be a nice sleep shirt. But I think if you tie it or something, I'm probably going to start to campaign so you guys can start ordering on April 14th, which is Friday. Oh, and I forgot to mention, 5% of the profit goes to charity, and I think, I believe that I get to choose the charity and I'm going to donate to Alzheimer's Society because when my grandfather passed away, he had Alzheimer's. As soon as I have the campaign started and running, I will make a post about it on Instagram and it will be the link in my bio and I will make sure to put the link in the description box for this YouTube video below. And thank you guys so much for supporting me. It feels really unreal how people are going to be wearing my illustrations on their clothing. It's like, it's so insane and I'm so excited about it. I've been shown videos of gel printing a lot on social media, so when my friend Kate came over, I just had to try it with her. We first went outside and picked some fresh leaves and flowers. It was so sunny outside, literally the perfect weather. I looked over this tutorial on Skillshare called Mono Printing with the Jelly Plate by Cookie Redding. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take thousands of classes. Traditional jobs are not one size fits all and as a freelance artist, I'm always trying to find different ways to create and make art for you guys to be inspired by. It's free the first month if you're the first 1000 people to use the link in my description box below. Go check out Skillshare now. You want? <laughs> okay. I think the roller now go around. <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah. I still got. I think I put too much. Maybe. Yeah. I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> What? What? Although other people's videos made it look really simple, we actually had a really chaotic and just okay. 
just a fun time in general let's put it at that um <laughs> well at least it's have a, a leg and a foot <laughs> It's thick. <laughs> wow. I don't think this was worth it. <laughs> we also baked cookies and that, that process was just as hectic as the printmaking process. <laughs> We're like savage. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it's gonna become one giant cookie. They're all connected. I'm walking in skirt and this is basically like sheer but it's so warm now So I'm doing a terrarium, I think that's how you say it, workshop with my neighbor and it was actually really really fun. Um, they had cookies and juices for us and it's just such a cute environment. I really like um, doing group activities or like completing a task together with groups of strangers because there's something that feels so like unifying even though we don't know each other i was kind of surprised that they had these really big vases for us i thought the pots would be much smaller but it was really nice and big and i made two of them it's a lot more simple than i thought right
So I'm going to be covering over this painting. Um, I think this is actually a print because there's not a lot of texture on it. But I feel like I want to make it more personal and actually use this frame for something that I made. Today we're gonna go for a little renaissance look. I did like a pretty slick back bun, like a clean girl look. And I think it's funny because usually when I'm doing the clean girl look, it's because my hair is really oily and I am not clean, but I just showered so it's actually like all wet and moist. So today I'm gonna talk with um, some person from Ocean Studios and Ocean Studios is like this like space where they rent out um, studio spaces for artists and stuff but for me like I'm not really looking to rent anything out at the moment because you know I'm still in uni and I'm using the facilities there but I need like a small room where I can exhibit some of my pieces um, for this module of my like MA course, it's module 201 or whatever, we need like a live external project and so an exhibit counts um, which is why I really want to exhibit and I hope the meeting goes well and I can make it happen. It would be really cool um, if any of you are here in Devon and would want to see and it would just be cool to like film the process of like setting it up installations and having people walk in and look <laughs> It's like super bright, but also raining. Um, anyways, I got the space at Ocean Studios. I have a few options actually, like there's a few places that I could put my work up. Um, 
I'm just gonna have a think over over the weekend and it all feels a bit rushed because I would have to exhibit by the end of this month because for my MA project they want me to write an essay about it like the second week of May and so I kind of need to hurry up um, because everything is so rushed the lady was like she's so nice she was like I could have the option to collaborate and exhibit with them maybe in the fall or things like that um, so by that time I would have a lot more work obviously and actually think about like the exhibit and how I'm gonna place things and all that stuff so it'll be more put together but I'm really glad that I get to have like a little mini exhibit oh something's in my eye 